It's time for Tech Time with Timmy. Welcome to Tech Time with Timmy. In this episode, Timmy's going to be talking about how to use Mail Merge. So, Mail Merge is a very cool thing that you can do with Google Sheets and Gmail that allows you to send an email to many different people without having to individually type out each email to each person and send a separate email to all of them, because that would take a long time. But you can actually enter into a Google Sheet all their names and everything like that and their email addresses and then you can easily send it through Gmail and you just because it goes through Gmail that doesn't mean you have to use only your Gmail address to send it from you can actually set it up so that Gmail can send it from a different address so if you want to know how to do that you can watch the previous episode but in this episode Timmy's going to show you how to use Mail Merge so and you can also add cool things like you can have text that every every in the email that everyone receives and then you can have little blank gaps where you can put in individual information so Timmy will show you how to do that as well and that's really cool so in this episode Timmy's gonna show you how to do okay, that. Okay so first of all you need to get the mail merge template and the easiest way to do that is to get the one that Timmy already created so to to access that one, all you need to do is either click the link in the description or go to Tech Time with Timmy dot com forward slash mail merge and hit enter. And then you'll see here this link. So you j just click on this link. And then you'll see here, it says it's view only. So what you need to do is you need to make sure you're signed into your Google account now. So if you're not signed in, there'll be a sign in button up here and you could click on that and sign in. And then as long as you're signed in, it's okay. So then click on file and click on make a copy. And it comes up like this. So you name it whatever you'd like to name it and then select where you want to save it so my drive so it would save to your Google Drive so then just click OK and it'll now open up as the version that you have saved on your Google Drive which will not be a view only it'll be one that you can use and now as you can see here it is all usable now so you don't need this one anymore because that's the view only one you need this one which will be saved onto your Google Drive. So now you need to install the Mail Merge add-on into Google Sheets. So you need to come up here and click on Add-ons and then click Get Add-ons and then type in here Mail Merge and then just hit enter. And then it brings up this list of all the all the add-ons here and you need to click on mail merge with attachments and so when you, once it appears here you can just click on the free and it brings up a little pop-up window and you, you have to allow it to access your Google account and everything so you, you need to scroll down here and click allow and as you can see it pops up here with the getting started guide but you can just close that and so and if you click on add-ons again you'll see here it says mail merge with attachments so that's installed so now what you need to do is you need to open gmail okay so when you're in gmail you need to click on compose just just like you're typing a normal email and then, so you need to put in the subject of the email. And then you can just start typing your email. And this email will be the one that goes to everyone. So you, if you want to put their name, you can just type the, those, that type of bracket twice. And then type first name because first name is the name of the box where you entered everyone's first name. So if you type first name here, then once you send it out to everyone, it will enter what whatever was in that box. And then you just do the closing brackets as well. 
So then that's all you need to do to enter the field. So you can just keep typing. And the different fields you add don't only work for just name. You can also put in your own ones. So you you can create your own column in, in the mail merge template, which Tim will show you how to do in a minute. And that means you can put in different words throughout the email. So if you want to put in a different one of those words, you just do those brackets again. And then you enter whatever you're going to name the new column that you create. And then you just put the closing brackets. So that's how that's done. And then, so once you've created this draft in Gmail, you can go back over to your mail merge template and you need to create another column for that field you just put in. So you need to right click on last name and then click insert one right. And then if you click in this box, you can type into this box what you put in the brackets over in your drafts, but you have to make sure it's exactly the same. A good way that you can do that is by copying what you typed in here, not copying the brackets, just what you typed. So you copy that, and then you come over here, and you right click here, and you hover over paste special, and you click paste values only. And so as you can see, that is in there. Okay, so now that you've done all of that, now you need to fill out all these boxes. So for each person that you're sending an email to, you fill out their own row. So you, you first of all put their first name and their last name. And then that's the column that you created. So you can put in whatever you wanted to put in there. And then you enter their email address. And so you do it all like that. And so you can just keep going down the list here and fill out all these columns for each different person. And then so once you've filled out the form, you can then click on add-ons and hover over mail merge with attachments. And then click on in this menu here, click on configure mail merge. And then here it says sender's email address. So you can click on that drop down menu and by default it goes from your Gmail address. So if you want it to be from that, you don't have to do anything. Or if you want it to go from a different address, you can watch the previous episode on how to put in a different address into Gmail. So if you have a different address in, you'll be able to select it in this menu, as you can see. And then you need to enter the sender's full name. And you're, you're not doing any carbon copies or blind carbon copies. And reply to address, so that can even either be your Gmail or you or you can change it to the address you're sending it from or any address really. The campaign name is just for your reference. It no one it doesn't really matter what you put in there. And then you just click continue. And then it says select email template for mail merge. So you click on that and you select use an existing Gmail draft, which is the one you created. And you'll see here it has a list of all your drafts. So it'll automatically select this one if that's your only draft. But if you have multiple, you can just select it. And then you just click Run Mail Merge. And it says Mail Merge is now running. Please wait. And down in the bottom here, it says all the ones that it's sending it to. So you just wait for that to finish. And now it says Mail Merge is complete. So you just click Done. And as you can see here on mail merge status, it has mail sent and the time and date and everything. And you can always click on mail merge logs, which is a sheet that creates itself down the bottom. And you can see all the different logs here. So that's really cool. And that's how it's done. So that'll be the end of this episode of Tech Time with Jimmy. Bye.